The score, the dynamic score, is something that you hear about all the time when you're talking to any member on the Hill, even when the mics and cameras are off. They'll tell you, well, I can do this because of the score. And again, it's dynamic. It moves. Here's an example. Let's say that you have $100,000 today, but you want to buy a $1 million home. You might not have the money in the bank today, but if you count on future promotions and earnings that you think are coming your way, you can assume you're going to have it in 10 years. You might be wrong in that assumption, but you could say you're going to have it. That's the idea with saying tax reform is not going to add to the debt. It's all going to be dynamic. Heather Long covers economics and politics at The Washington Post. I got her take on whether Congress will ever get serious about the debt. And she had a serious warning about China and all this. What is happening on Capitol Hill at this point and in the White House when it comes to the national debt? I mean, have they determined there really is no significant downside to upping the debt? It seems to be spend, spend, spend. <laughs> I mean, certainly everyone says that they want to, to take action on the debt, that they do think it's concerning. But when you look at what they're actually doing, the actions versus the words, it's not happening. As a matter of fact, a lot of concern is we're going in the opposite direction. So this week, we're in another budget battle here. And both sides, the Republicans, they want more money for the military. Uh, the Democrats want more money for domestic, various domestic programs, particularly Social Security and safety net programs. And so when you put that equation together, you get a scenario where it looks like we are probably going to spend even more money this year and run an even bigger uh, deficit than we did last year and the year before. So we're going in the opposite direction of any sort of budget control. Do Congress members actually believe in dynamic scoring or do they just take whatever numbers will let them do what they want to do? Well, if you listen to the tax debate and I listen to a lot of hours of it, uh, Republican senator after Republican senator got on the floor of the U.S. Senate and said they do believe I mean, everybody believes in dynamic scoring, but that they believe that their dynamic score, their tax cut would pay for itself and maybe even add more money to help pay down the debt. So, again, that is very different from what most economists, the vast majority of economists do not believe that is going to happen and think that that is absurd. But there is a, a real genuine belief that tax cuts are going to somehow help the debt not heard it among some Republican senators. Do you ever foresee Congress saying, we are going to do this together, uh, hold hands, jump off the cliff, and reduce the debt? My personal belief is yes, but it's not going to happen in, uh, in the next four years. And that's really sad because, as I'm sure your other guests have said, now is the time to, to make those changes when we still have a few years to change the direct direction of, of this debt and of this problem that we're leaving millennials and those who come after them. The reality is millennials are now the largest voting bloc. And our, our parents and our grandparents have basically spent our inheritance and spent our future money. And I think at some point, I hate to say, use the term intergenerational warfare, but I do think at some point millennials are going to start voting about these issues and are going to be very upset. She also agreed with Corker saying that this is a huge security risk because if China owns all of this, they can exert control and nobody knows exactly what form that might take.